Dermot, I guess uh, good evening. We've won the match and uh, the, the guys that have come in tonight have given you food mm. for thought, haven't they? Yeah, I certainly give you a nice run. Uh, I think it's 39 normally decided on the teams. Um, but I, I was really pleased with the character and to, for people like Arian to come in and sit in that midfield role, put proper tackles in, get cramped, get booked. Uh, Mark Connolly defending really well with Alex. So, you know, defending to the hilt, Mitchell pulled off a great save, one off the bar. Uh, so, I said to them before, you know, we have, a, have to have a reaction from the other night, uh, the other day, sorry. And uh, it was great, super goal, absolutely super goal. And they're trying to play, that's what I was really pleased with. There's not too many balls where they were percentage balls, and the work rate and effort was fantastic because you're up against a good side, you know. I think at half time 1 0 probably flattered Colchester a little bit because we had some good chances, yeah. and like you say, it was a really, really quality goal, wasn't it? In the build up, oh, the execution, and what the finish from James Collins. What, what yeah. ahead of him, James. And he worked so hard, James. I tell you, he, he, I'm really impressed with him. You know, he, he, the goals will come with him, but he works so hard for the team. And then Jason Banton showed class, you know, and then Aidy Yusof's U- 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 come in and showed good power and strength. So and these guys, Aidy and that, you know, they've only just come into the training system and they're picking up so I've got to be really pleased with the whole team effort tonight because um, it was it is sometimes you know we don't get the second goal and you can't control the game and it does become a bit of a panic um, but I was really pleased with the mentality as like I said to you before you can always build on that and then I think we've got you know some exciting players that are going to get better yeah, I think last 10, 15 minutes, Colchester inevitably threw a lot of men forward, a yeah. lot of balls into the box, but actually, they didn't really. No, well, I think the defending chances, was they? really good. I, I'm a little bit on the back line, not getting too far apart, and the centre I was both marking. Um, and, the, you know, they were, they, were, they were winning balls. And then Mitchell's punching well, um, and he answered the call. You know, he's had to prove to me, you know, he's, he's, he's taking the opportunity. And, like I said, it's a, it's a nice situation. But the, the mentality. I think that's what the fans really appreciate, and we aren't going to come and boss games all the time. You know, don't think we are, but when our game does get going, we'll play some good football. I've asked you this before a couple of times in the last two weeks. Transfer window closing tomorrow. Yeah. Hopefully, some business is going to be done. Yeah, I think I think according to my HP sources, one's ninety percent done. I said, well, when he's hundred percent, let me know. So I think he's, I think there's one done that's on international duty now, so everyone can start searching. It's not Jet Wilshire. It's not uh, how Robson can do. This uh, someone very close. We're, we're close to getting it done. And I hope, obviously, try and get that done in time for uh, uh, maybe not. It'll be Stevenage. Yeah, it'll be the Stevenage game. It will be yeah. Stevenage. So just one in, do you think, or maybe just two? One. No, just, just one. one. Okay. Yeah. And I'm pleased, um, but pleased with the ones that filled in because you know they've had to earn that place for me to go. Do I need to get one or don't I need to get one as well? So. Yeah, I think it showed tonight there is some depth in the squad. I mean, we've got several several players not playing because of injury and what have you, and um, the guys that came well, in again, they, they well, did well. Well, you've got to, in the heat of the battle, you've got to answer the call, and I think that's what you do. You keep your calm, but, you know, if you want to run and tackle, then I can work with you. If you don't, then go and play somewhere else.